How's it going everyone? We're here to check out the top submitted skins to the workshop this week. And for anyone that's new, that does not necessarily mean all of these skins will make it in. Only 8 to 10 or so, usually 8, make it in every week. So these are just the potential skins that have a chance. So let's get into it. Starting off, we've got a burlap set. This is the Workman's set. And yeah, it's got these cool kind of like little designs and so forth. And then you've got the little rust button, the cobalt button, radioactive, you know, which is quite cool. On the back, you've got another big cobalt symbol, same on the pocket of the pants, and then you've got the hammer and wrench again right there. Definitely a nice little burlap set. Next, we've got a silly hoodie and pants for you. This is the Angry Chicken set, or Chick set, sorry, by Lucas. And yeah, there's little chicks coming out around here, poking out of eggs. There's one poking out of the pocket of the hoodie. Uh, an egg on a butt or a head, I'm assuming, over there. Uh, definitely funny. And then the whole costume itself is made up to look like a chicken, all the way down to the chicken legs. Definitely hilarious. We've seen a few different iterations of this, but this one's definitely on the more cute side. And uh, yeah, definitely a great addition. Next, we've got the Immortal set by Vaze. And man, this thing just looks like you got turned, uh, well, skinned straight up. Uh, something straight out of Attack from Titan almost feeling, you know. Uh, you could pretend to be a miniature titan by wearing this. <laughs> One way or another, the bones on the outside of the muscle is kind of like an armor thing. I, it's definitely very creative. I love the look of this. This is definitely a very, very cool set. Very beautifully sculpted, for sure. Next, we've got a continuation in the Force Raider set with the jacket and leather gloves. So you can see these are actually just leather gloves now. I don't know if we'll see the leather gloves. Again, Hulk is more focused on road sign. But hey, we could see it. Who knows? One way or another, we've got the jacket here. It's exactly what you would expect. And uh, it would be great for, you know, that alternate uh, to a chest piece maybe while you're hiding off in the forest. Next up, we've got two high qual sets for you, starting off with this one right here. This is the Recon set by Ted, and yeah, it kind of has that uh, kind of a worn but tactical look to it. You can see there's a little bit of a kind of like digital black and gray camo thing going on. Lots of nice red highlights to it. You see the same thing going on down and around here. Then you have a kind of like abbreviated Recon. If we take a look up at the top of the helmet, it's kind of smoothed out. I definitely like the red band there in the front. And next up, we've got the Gilded set by Little Ranger. Now, there are two different versions. There's a gold and kind of a silvery version. And, uh, yeah, the silvery version kind of looked a little too close to another older set that used to exist uh, called Glory. This one looked more kind of like its own thing. And, uh, yeah, I, I just think there's another one of those sets that's beautifully sculpted. I mean, if you look at the details in the, you know, design in the helmet... You've got all this beautiful gold work, then you've got kind of the details to the bone. You know, you can tell it's been sculpted and carved, and you can see more carvings down here with the designs actually carved into the bone chest pieces. Same thing with the back over here. You've got some more kind of like leaf flourishes kind of thing. Definitely a very beautiful set. Next up, we've got our deployables, starting off with this ammo box as the continuation in the vintage small box set by Samoda. And yeah, as you can see here, it has ammo kind of scrawled into the side here. And of course, it has a glowing and non-glowing version. So we'll be sure to show you that here at the end, as usual. Moving on, we've got another small box for you. This one has more of a Nordic look to it. This is the Midgard storage box by UAD. And it is definitely a very cool one. There's a door that's already been accepted. So this could be something we could see popping in. Definitely has the same nice little parts to it. It's very kind of like a simplistic art, but very nice little things like the studs and the kind of hints of red and so forth to it that just kind of bring it out. Next, we've got something else for you. Check it out. This whole thing looks like it's made out of matches. And not only that, but it looks like a house. It is the match house box. Check that out. Definitely a crazy idea, and uh, I dig it. It's definitely something unique, and it's always cool to see unique stuff. And I could see people being bored in the world of Rust and uh, having a lot of matches and time. <laughs> Next over here, we've got number 18 in the neon set. It is the electric box. On the top of it, you can see we've got that very, very common electrical component riveted up there on the top for you there. And uh, then you've got 
E L E C on the side. There you go. Boom. Next, we've got some doors starting out with this wooden tiki door for you. This one is the, excuse me, Faith in the Gods door. And uh, yeah, this one has that kind of like tiki tiki theme. I love the kind of grin on this uh, top head on it. And then if you come around the back, you've got some more and a kind of like feast going on. Definitely a very cool design. Lots of neat artwork. Then over here, we've got a shark for you that says, get out. He doesn't look too happy and well is aptly named the angry shark. Over here on the back side, you can see you've got some fins and teeth kind of carved into there. Definitely kind of like a simple design, but that's kind of what makes it pop, honestly. Next, we've got something that's very cool. Man, I, I feel like I can feel this door. This is the Spectrum Scales door by Ideal. And yeah, it's just, oh, look at that. It's this very, very cool design. And uh, we just have to kind of stare at it and take it in for a minute. Next up, we've got TVs for you guys. This one, I'm not too sure how Hulk might feel about it. It might fit under that overly textured, just doesn't quite work, flattened kind of idea. But this is the TV sheet metal door by Zuff, and uh, it is very cool looking. It also has a pretty unique uh, design with the glow. So yeah, it's just uh, it's one of those things where it's made parts kind of thing. It doesn't make sense for it to be a door. Maybe it would make sense more of as a window, but we don't really have window skins. I, you know what I mean? <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see how that one goes. Definitely very cool glow as well. Speaking of coolness, we've got another very awesomely sculpted door for you. This is the Lost Souls door by MM. And, uh, yeah, you can just see all the little faces there, and there's a tear in that rift. I don't know if that's a door you should honestly go through. I mean, look at that. Probably might let something bad out. Next up, we've got the second door. This is the Fishing Station Double Door by Jessen, and the second one in the set, and uh, yeah, it's just a beautiful glow that comes with these, and uh, I can see a lot of people wanting to use these on their boat bases for maybe entry and so forth. Obviously, it wouldn't work for the boat itself to get through, uh, because, you know, top part, you need a garage door for that, but definitely a very nice door. Next over here, we've got a crazy monster for you. This is the Monster Double Door by Andy Boo. And yeah, this thing just uh, is absolutely insane. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to go through that at all. It just, yeah, scary. <laughs> Next over here, looks like we got a little bit of the back to school kind of thing with the Arts and Crafts Metal Door by Evan. And uh, yeah, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Wow, look, they got it right. I kind of expected with Rust, maybe one of them to be kind of wrong <laughs> or backwards or something, but one way or another, there's lots of funny little stuff drawn here and there. Lots of little characters, even a bit of a rock climbing wall. Definitely quite creative, especially with the handles being wood. Or not the handles, but you know, the <clears throat> middle part of the door there. Next, we've got the guns and ammo door. Look at this thing. This would be perfect for a shop front. I mean, you can look right through it and see someone and kind of, you know, decide if you're going to work with them or not. And uh, yeah, this is just great for that. You know, this isn't something you'd use to cover loot. This would be something for maybe your store or a front door or something like that. And we haven't seen a garage door with an opening. So, I mean, hey, we'll have to see how Hulk feels about it. He could hate it. He could love it. One way or another, it's definitely a really cool design and also has quite the awesome glow. Last but not least, we've got Hakuna Matata. <laughs> what a wonderful phrase. Uh, one way or another before I start breaking off into horrible song. Uh, the song's great. I just can't sing. Uh, <laughs> we've got this uh, very chill garage door here that uh, will help you lose all your worries in the Rust Summer DLC to fit with summertime. So there you go. Let's hit the lights and take a look at the glow on all these. <clears throat> lights. Ah, there we go. Boom. There's that. And, oh man, just look at this door. You can tell the work that went into it, the different light sources, the different glows here and there. I mean, it's just such an amazing design. Then over here, the little stars pop up with some of the letters, which I thought was really cute on that door. And then, man, I think this thing might actually be more terrifying at night. I <laughs> Don't go into the toaster cables, guys. Those heat coils, no, don't do it. <laughs> As I said, man, this is just, this blue is just such a really nice glow, you know? Love the reflecting of light sources, the way they used it. Then, I'd say at night, that rift even looks scarier. 
And you can see the runes there at the top and bottom, which is nice. And then back to the TV one. See what I mean? Like, ah, oh, everyone's seen this kind of thing in a movie, right? You know, the zombie apocalypse, they go past the video store, power's still on, and the TVs are all dead. You know, I, you know, ah, oh, definitely a cool idea. Then we'll screw all the way down here to the electric box. There you have that. And then our last little box over here. Can't forget this because it has a beautiful glow as well. Very nice. I like how it almost casts like a little light on the inside too, which is kind of cool. Can still kind of help you can't, uh, find it from the side, you know? All right, let's jump into the last part of our video where we check out all the tools and weapons. And starting out, we've got this beautiful rock for you. This one is the Tempered Steel Rock by Le Crempe. And uh, yeah, just look at that. Definitely very beautiful. I like how there's little bits of ore coming through in between. Very nice looking rock. Next, we've got a beautiful tool set for you right here with, look at that bug in there, man. That is a big bug. Definitely love how that works. This does have a glow and a non-glow, so we'll show this glow to you at the end. This is the Ancient Amber set. There we go. And, ah, there's that bug again. Such a beautiful design. Next, we've got a couple bows for you, starting out with this one right here, which pretty much looks like it's a design made out of clay, which is why it's called the Ceramics Bow. Aiming down the sides here, you can see there's quite a few little fancy designs, some different little rope in here and there, and then some different kind of bevels to the wood, which just adds a little bit of extra detail to it, I think is nice. It's a shame it's a very small space to work with, but they did quite a nice job of it. Next, we've got another bow for you. This one's a little more on the techie side. This is the Hunting Shadow Bow by White. And as you can see here, it's got kind of like a more techy look to the top of it. Definitely looks like it's made out of like a carbon fiber kind of thing, maybe. So forth. Aiming down the sights here, you can see a lot of the purple more depending on how the light hits it. And some kind of cool little designs up there towards the top. Next up, we've got a crossy for you. And this one is quite bright. This is the Graffiti Crossbow by Kenzie. And yeah, just uh, you got this like critter on the side. I don't know, this rabid raccoon cat monster thing. I'm not sure what it is, but it, it frightens me. <laughs> One more another. Then you got these creepy eyes staring back at you. Very, very cool. Like the combination of the yellow with the purples and blues. Turns out quite well. Next up, we got a couple of double barrels for you. Starting out with this one right here, which is the Steampunk Double Barrel by Diaz. And the front of it kind of looks like a little mini gun, kind of a Gatling gun. And then you've got like, you know, these cooling vents and chamber, and then you got the coils. Uh, they just did a really good job of, pick, you know, picking that Steampunk vibe. Aiming down the sights here, you've got some gauges and so forth and a wire coil around the screwdriver to kind of top it off there. Next, we've got one more for you. And this DB right here might look a little familiar. It kind of looks like our friendly flame turret, which is why this is the flamethrower double barrel shotgun brought to us by Firefly. Definitely another fun thing where they took art from in the game and combine it into something different. Love that with the details. There's even a little tab right there. And down the sights, you've got two skulls and a little flame insignia. And there you go. Next, we've got a very bright star for you. Now, the first thing you're probably going to ask is, does this glow? And it doesn't. This is the start to the Red Hot set by Fresh. As you can see, it just has this very red-hot look to it, but not a glow. Aim down the sights here, you've got some contrast on the orange and yellow versus that black. Almost candy corn-ish, but, uh, you know, more metallic. <laughs> metallic candy corn. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Next, we've got a custom SMG for you. It's a continuation in the Zen Labs set by Morpheus. And... As you can see, it's been updated. It looks much, much more up to date with the actual one that we got in. 
And uh, it's just a little more crisp, the metal parts and so forth. I like the corrugated steel kind of look to the top of it there. Aiming down the sights, you've got that kind of faded Zen Lab Z against this very bright iron sights. Next, we've got an MP5 for you, and this one's got some crazy artwork on the side of it. This is the King of Raids MP5 by M. Broda, or Mr. Vrona, sorry. And as you can see right here, it's got that big old purple screaming skulls, King of Raids written on the front there. Aiming down the sights, it's kind of got like a matted black and a yellow painted tip for you there. Last in this group, we've got our first AK for today. And this one takes a theme that you may have seen in some other games uh, like CS, and I think COD has something similar as well. This is the Distorted AR. I'm actually surprised that uh, this hasn't picked up in Rust in some way or another. I've seen a few attempts at it. This one definitely has some really sick colors, and I think they did a really good job with it. And yeah, it's just kind of like that holographic kind of uh, hologram kind of popping out at you, 3D glasses, am I drunk kind of thing going on which is definitely a very cool effect. Aiming down the sights here, uh, you just kind of got some plain black sights, but some cool little artwork there for sure. Next up, we got some more AKs for you, starting out with this one right here. This is the Ape AK-47. And uh, yeah, as you can see, there's this big angry paw coming up and tearing through the AK. Bunch of graffiti going on, and then you've got this purple and gold kind of theme going on with a very metallic-y vibe to it. You can see a lot of people liking this just for the fact of that kind of metallic and kind of graffiti street vibe it has going on. Aiming down the sides here, you have Ape written out with a kind of like a target, and then some purple on purple sights there, which has kind of a nice little contrast to it. Next, we've got another AK for you, and this one is a little bit more on the fancy vibe. This is the Deathlike AK by Andre, and it has that kind of uh, very Day of the Dead kind of look to it, roses and skulls, and then it has that nice kind of white, thin highlight around the matted black. Really just complements it very nicely, and it's a, it's a very good way to see how you can still paint over one kind of solid color but still accent the details without it being one blob. So definitely very well done there. Next, we've got a very crazy looking AK. Look at this one. Basically looks like it is like infected by the Venom symbiote or something. This thing is very cool. It has two different versions. This is the infected version and then there's the quarantine. And the quarantine is basically just black and white. I really like the bit of color torn into this one. I think that looks really cool. Aiming down the sights here, you've got some of that black sludge creeping around on you. Go ahead and pop a reload. Definitely a very mean looking AK. Next, we've got a couple LRs for you, starting out with what looks like a continuation in the Frosty set by Bad Trip. This one is the Frosty LR, and well, it's basically the default weapon frosted completely over. Lots of little cracks and details in there. Aiming down the sights, it almost looks like it's like freshly melting in your hands. Definitely very cool. Next, we've got another LR for you, and this one looks all sorts of like uh, race stripe kind of construction-y and well is therefore named the V8 LR as you can see there on the side by Milo and yeah it just has this kind of construction and race track kind of you know design some carbon fiber here and there definitely very cool and such a clean sight look at that that yellow on black just complements so nicely Next up, we've got one more LR for you, which is the training LR continuation in the training set. So it's everything you could expect. That cloth right there, it has that kind of a more clean look to it. Also, lots of wear and tear and rust still. Aiming down the sights here, you've got a red tip up against the iron sights to complement it. And lastly, here we've got an M39 for you. And man, I really love how the black paint of the trees actually kind of sticks up and is raised. 
Also the same thing with like the little toxic skull as you aim down the sights here. Lots of little details done up to this one. It makes it a really beautiful addition to the set and an amazing looking M39, which we don't have a whole lot of. So definitely amazing look to the Atomic M39 here. Uh, a lot of people who may not know the set, it does not glow. It is just all sorts of slimy and bright. Next up, we've got a continuation in the lightweight set with this beautiful bolt action. Look at that, man. This thing is just fresh. Ah, it's just carved out so beautifully. Looks like it would be so light in your hands. I, I feel like the whole thing might would go <laughs> even go flying as soon as you shoot it. Uh, it's just uh, definitely beautifully sculpted gun for sure. And next we've got an L9 for you. Man, look at the detail on this one. This is the Watchers L96 by Keck. And man, Keck always delivers on detail. But this one is just amazing. I mean, look at the sculpting, the artwork, everything that went into this. Even when you aim down the sights, you've got that Eye of Ra. And you can see the bolt action even has like a little custom, you know, ball on it. This is so much detail went into this. It is a very beautiful design. Next, we've got an M2 for you. It's a continuation in the Base Breakers set. So, it, of course, has a lot of little game overs and so forth on it. Pixel skulls and a big old bang there on the top. Aiming down the sides, you've got some white against the pink, which I, actually, I don't know if that is confusing or the way it kind of looks like a weird shadow. I don't know. I like it, though. It looks pretty good. One way or another, let's pop that reload. Boom. There you go. Nothing too special going on with the bullets there. Definitely a nice addition to the base breaker set. Next, we've got two rocket launchers for you. Starting out with this awesome design right here. It looks literally like TNT sticks by Zinc. This is the TNT rocket launcher. Who would have guessed, right? And I just love that carving to it to where it looks like that. Very, very cool. Aiming down the sights here, you've got some kind of little red painted sight and so forth. Let's go ahead and load it up. And, uh, you know, I guess we we have to keep to tradition, guys, and shoot something. So, let's shoot the tree. Oh, we actually took a tree out for once. Look at that. Amazing. All right. And we've got one more rocket launcher for you. This one is themed to look like a big old kind of energizer battery. And it says rusticizer on it. You, you always gotta love parody stuff. And uh, you've got that AAA. I think it's a pretty big AAA, guys. <laughs> Aiming down the sights there. Let's go ahead and do a reload on it. Or sorry, rustomizer. Rustomizer. And, uh, yeah, this one, uh, I don't know, just screw you trees in general. Boom. On fire. All right. Well, that does it, guys. Thanks for watching and sticking around for these. Always enjoy bringing all these beautiful skins to you guys. It's so hard to always narrow it down to a smaller list. As always, I hope you all have a great wipe. Stay rusty. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.